Hi, here's Shimon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 at work. Build multilingual SharePoint sites. When you're using SharePoint sites to build global intranet, sooner or later you will need to be able to deliver the content in multiple languages. Like announcement like that, it have to be present in multiple languages. So thankfully SharePoint offers you the possibility to translate the content you gather there. The only thing you have to do is turn on translation services for the SharePoint pages. Go to the site information and to view all site settings. This is still classic page when you can find quite complex SharePoint configuration and you will find their language settings. In this place, you can find the possibility to turn on multiple languages functionality on SharePoint Online. When you will turn it on, you can add additional languages to your SharePoint site. Thanks to that, you can translate your page to multiple languages. Moreover, for every language you can assign the translator that will get the task to prepare manually the translation of the content and of the page. After turning on this feature, you can get to every page and you will see the new functionality, new option here, translation. When you will get there, you will see that you can create additional pages for each separated language or you can create multiple pages for all additional languages. After the moment, the pages will be created and the users will get the request to create the translation for the SharePoint page. Every assigned translator will get the request to set the translation in the assigned language. So the only thing they have to do is to click on the button, go to the page, which is copy of the source page, prepare for the translation. So the only thing you have to do is to click the edit button and adapt this content to the native language that will be used. You can see that all elements are ready here. You have to just prepare it. When your translation will be ready, publish the news. Publication of the alternative translation of article will deliver the new button to the user interface, which allows to switch between the available languages. Of course, this is only visible for the pages that have translation prepared. Here you can see that you have two draft versions which are not yet published, plus you have German version that is prepared already by me. This functionality gives you possibility to deliver the multilingual SharePoint pages very easily, but remember, all translation have to be done manually. There is no automatic interface here. I hope this quick guide about creating the multilingual SharePoint pages will help you to start working with it, play with it, see what available options are, and found your translator across the organization. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to the channel.